Welcome back to Coors Field here in Denver. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Up next for the Buckos, number 10. He's 0 for 2 the with a strikeout in this one. Number it 10. doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first, and no one will track it down. And he strikes him out here, so that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. Well, there's the great equalizer, the change of El Cambio. Listen. If you can keep that Mark pitch head. in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Here's Starling Marte. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Looking to send him packing again. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Count still at one and two. And he fouls this one off. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat now off bad. his shoulder right there, and the he right struck field. out twice before that Gregory. one. So he's going to have a lot to throw. think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Into the box now. Gregory Polanco fouled off. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count. One. And a big reason why is they're swinging at all One, kinds two. of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. The 1 2. Ground ball right side. McMahon fields it cleanly. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and his side is retired. One, two, three, go the Pirates. And as you can see, they are way behind. Michael Feliz enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 45, Michael Feliz. Into the box now, Ryan McMahon. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Yeah, Matt, that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder has a beat on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting, center fielder, Rival Tapia. 
Ready now, Rymel Tapia. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This is pulled into right. Polanco back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Now batting, catcher, Cody Walters. Two away now in the Colorado seventh, and that brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it's belted high and deep into right center. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. The pitcher, Let's take another look at just a textbook Kyle. swing right there. Good Freeway. weight transfer. Good hands to the ball. Solid contact and great extension through the ball. Yeah that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Stepping up to the plate Kyle Freeland. He's been great on the mound so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah Matt when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. First offering on its way. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back at Coors Field in just a moment. Josh Bell the next to hit. He leads off their half of the eighth and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah he settled in early on the mound partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. First pitch coming here it is. In there 0 and 1. And he takes strike two. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. Now we'll look at our starter comparison now, for the two starting pitchers, the and these home fans have been treated to a real gem, Moran. as evidenced by that big oval-shaped number in the hit column on the right side of your screen. Into the box, Colin Moran. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Well, a huge out number two number here at the eighth. Four outs remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. Play. Kevin Newman no hits for him to this point not unlike many of his fellow teammates first delivery to him on the way yeah. and that's taken for strike one Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there that ain't plus 90s right there that's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. The 0 and 1 delivery. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. 
Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. The 1-2. He's at the knees and called strike three. Down in order go the Pirates. And they remain well, well behind. Now at the plate, Charlie Blackman go. working on We're a good hockey. line in this ball game. Right three field. for five thus far. Charlie Blackman. First pitch of the at bat. Line drive to left. Number 10 is there and he'll bring this one in. Now Jumped that, all over that first sure pitch of the inning and Rubber. he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able Story. to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Now to the plate, Trevor Story, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. First pitch on its way. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. job to stay with it that time and get the second out of the inning. Now that is left fielder David Dahl. At the plate David Dahl four hits already in this one and looking for number five here. Ready with the first pitch here it comes line drive to center field. Marte is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Three up, three down for Colorado. But not to fear as they hold a commanding lead. At the plate, Adam Frazier starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. On its way is pitch number 75. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. The one and one pitch. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way line drive to center field Tapia is there one away now that catcher Elias Diaz Ready for another chance. Elias Diaz 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Now the pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. 
Bases are empty, one man out. Heading out towards shallow right. After it is Blackman. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batter, the pitcher, Michael Kaleem. Jose Osuna will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out from the bases empty. Jose Osuna. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Grounded to first. Gloved by Murphy. And this is taken to the bag for the out, and it's over. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, no need to offer any debate this time. All you have to do is look at the box score. No hits, no walks, not even a base runner. We talked about his brilliance all game long, and you can bet he's going to celebrate this one tonight. Time of the ball game, four hours and 17 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.